handful of files, I'm never gonna, it's never gonna um, swing back the way I want it, but I can do my little bit and put out an artifact. I wanted to put out 300, no digital downloads. If you didn't get it, you didn't get it. Uh, and, and just, yeah, just put an artifact out there, something that's a little bit more uh, exciting than a file, really. If there's elements of technology that I think I would enjoy or would be useful to me in my work, then I'll, I'll get involved with them. But I just enjoy, I mean, I'm, I'm really lucky I can make these statements because I live five minutes walk from Rough Trade East and a ten minute tube ride to the West End and it's many record shops. You know, so I can make sweeping statements like, oh, I don't, you know, I'd rather have the search. But that's because sometimes my search is at the end of the road. But, it, you know, if I live somewhere in the suburbs or on another continent, then yeah, obviously it's, it's very handy. I'm just, you know, this is a very, um, you know, this, this is just my private taste because I happen to be a kind of a lovely musician, really. You've, you've basically got direct contact to everything that's ever been in the world, <laughs> yeah. in something that size. Yeah, 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 that it can be a bit of a distraction. synthesizers and computers as well as everybody else and at my home on a, on a very small amount of apparatus I can actually make orchestral sounds I think that's terribly unfair I don't think I should you know someone who spends their entire life learning how to play the oboe or, or the violin they suddenly find themselves supplanted by a sample
I listen to, for instance, John Coltrane, I don't want to play jazz and want to play saxophone, but the greatness and what he's trying to do in the music and what indeed what he does do in the music, that's what I'm inspired by, by the greatness and trying to, at least trying to attain some of that, you know? Well, I suppose we can't help as human beings to all kind of put each other into little compartments. Um, but my tastes are so eclectic, I, I couldn't really do that.
Choke a dozen donkeys on that. And you're ugling over 100 pounds. What do you do when you're not buying stereos, Nick? Finance revolutions. 100 pounds is still 100 pounds. Not when the price is 200 pounds, it's not. And certainly not when you've got Liberia's deficit in your skyrocket. Tighten than a duck's butt, you are.
This last clip shows a giant circus saw being made flat by hammering an old craft. And incidentally from this city move forth those wonderful steels which have enabled the world's speed record in air and land to be won by Britain. similar kind of closed disco drum sound, no ambience, uh, not a ton of low, low, low end, sort of like this kind of punctuated tactile hot hi-hat sound that I always really like.
word ESOL came from being cosmic high on E's and listening to Phil Collins, a Brazilian record, anything that just was good, but sounded even better and more majestic. So it just came from slow, weird records at an afters. And it was just, it, it was a bit of a joke because the old soul crew were a bit like, oh, geez, what, I'm mad. And it just came from that.
my gift Would I stand to lose This is my gift Would I stand to lose This is my gift Would I taking pictures. <laughs> They're so mediocre. You know, and every girl goes through a photography phase. You know, like horses. You know, take a picture of your feet. You'll figure that out. Don't worry.
producer, and for the purposes of this film, we'll take it that the musicians have already done their job, recording their tracks, bass, drums, guitars, vocals, on a two-inch wide magnetic tape, which records up to 24 simultaneous tracks. Now it's time for doing the mixing. What instrument on what track is first inscribed on the desk, and then it's time to start listening, beginning always with the drum tracks first. hydraulic forging press in the world, operated by six men. Now, the mighty tube is placed in the press, the high-temperature, high-pressure operation begins, and the great mass of steel is squashed and pounded like putty to the required dimensions. British industry at work, 
the world's mightiest forging press doing its job with consummate ease.
Sheffield presents a nightlife expected of any modern big city. Theatre, cinemas, late night restaurants, discotheques, dance halls, several nightclubs, one of them the biggest in Europe, and internationally famous cabaret artists. Sheffield of the 70s swings.